How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this application. This is going to be my app review of parental controls, screen time, location, and tracking application. Um, I've personally been using this app for, I don't know, five years probably or more um, and I really love it. It's really, really nice and it's been very helpful. So let's get into this. So here you go. This is the application and um, it's really, really nice, okay? Uh, I like that it allows you to control so many things on your kids' devices um, all in one spot. Also, I have a bunch of kids in here, so you can just see. I'll scroll through them. And you have individual controls per child, okay? Um, you can add more. I don't haven't seen a limit on how many kids you can have in your parental control app, screen time application. Um, so I think you probably have unlimited. Um, but this does cost if you're going to have some of the premium features in it. Um, I think it's about $40 a year um, to use the application, if I remember correctly, when you buy a, a membership. But like I said, I've been using this for four years, and I really love it. So let's just kind of talk through the application, okay? So um, over here on the menu, you got your children. This is really, really cool right here. So you can create task, okay? And if your kid completes the task on their phone or whatever, their device, they can take a picture to prove it or whatever, send it back to you, and then you can approve it, okay? So here's ones that have been sent back to me. So this is cleaning Juliet's room. She's little. She doesn't clean very well, so the older ones like to do it and get some extra time. So you can click on this, and you can see they're asking for time. Sometimes if they take a picture, it'll show up with a picture of what they did. So... Um, that's really cool. So if they're trying to get more screen time and they want to play more games, they can request it by doing a task. Okay. Um, other than that, you have your basic account information here. Um, there is a GPS tracking built into this if you want to do that. Um, I think that's another $10 a year if you want to use that option as well. Okay. So let's go back to the kids and let's just walk you through one of the kids and, and how I've got this set up. So the first thing is you can point out you can see what they're currently doing if they're doing it it'll show up right here or it'll show you the time when they did and uh, some scheduling things the next one here right here is their daily limit okay so if you click on this one you can set how long you want them to have to do things monday through friday and then on the weekends okay and you can turn on these restrictions and then you can choose per app what's limited so i've currently got chrome limited um now this this kid is pretty you know she's 13 so I don't limit very much on her um, Pinterest is limited some Samsung things sometimes I limit stuff just because I don't want them to use the application like this one T Tuesdays is just unnecessary YouTube's limited and and Zedge so it's not a lot um, most of the stuff is, is unlimited here on her daily totals for this she doesn't like playing video games very much it's she's more of like you know YouTube and stuff like that okay so then you can also set limits um, by day. So, for example, on Sundays, I limit a lot of things on Sundays um, that I just like, hey, you know, we're not going to do these things on Sunday. We're going to spend time together. And so there's different things that are limited on that day specifically. Okay. So you can do that. You also have a bedtime blocker. So this also limits things um, based on time of day. So, which is really cool. And it's all per app, as you guys can see when you go through here. Um, you also have app blocking. So you can set it up so that um, auto-restrict new apps. So if they go to the app store and they install a new application, it automatically blocks it until they get it approved by me. Okay? So that's pretty sweet. I actually like that option a lot. Um, so then we're going to look at some other things. So you got GPS location. Um, their device model number right there. She's got an N960U, which is a Samsung Note 10, I think, or 9. Um, so you can get some GPS tracking on it uh, if you want that feature. And then you get logs, right? It, it's, this is a really awesome thing if you just want to keep tabs on your kids and know what they're doing, making sure they're not getting anything they shouldn't be getting into uh, on their phone. So you have app logs. And you can see you know, what they've been doing how long they've been doing it per application. Um, it's it's pretty, in, pretty impressive. And then if you go down here, you also have daily totals, which I like this a lot. This will just show you how long they're on the phone for the day. But then you can also drill in and see what applications they were on that day and what they were doing. 
right? So um, it's it's pretty nice. You also have um, web history if you want to see what what websites they've been going on to, and YouTube stuff shows up in here also. Most of this is YouTube, um, and you can see what's going on there. And then if you want to add social networks and things like that, I think that also is an extra cost. I don't really do that because my kids don't really have social media um, besides YouTube. So, but there you go. That's basically the the setup of it. Um, you can do web filtering. Again, it's an extra cost. Everything kind of builds up when it comes to more features. But to me, the GPS tracking and the um, just just monitoring and limiting my kids' usage on their mobile device is really awesome. So this does work on Android. These are all Android devices here. Um, it, I'm I'm sure. Actually, I'm almost positive they do have a iOS version of this application as well. If you're looking to do it on on there, but the Android version works great. And like I said, I've been doing it for at least four or five years now, and I love this thing. So very easy to manage. You get notifications if you want for what kids, what, what they're doing and what's happening on, the, on their devices. Um, notifications when they show up at your house or when they leave your house. If you want to do that, you can set up GPS like circles after they're like a thousand feet from your home. It'll, it'll notify you. I mean, the whole thing's really, really nice. So there you go. That's what I'm going to say. If you guys are looking for something like this, to set up some kind of like managing of your kids' devices. I highly recommend this, and I would also recommend get them on it early. Don't try to do this as a teenager. They're going to buck that system so hard. <laughs> so if you, if you always have this on their phones from the first time they get a phone, uh, you're going to be in a better situation right there. So there you go. That's going to be it. That's going to be my review here of Screen Time uh, Parental Control Application. Love it, love it, love it. Check it out for yourself. I'll put a link in the video description down below. Talk to you guys in the next one. Rude Junkie out.